Hello, I'm Karen Starkey and this is Steph and this morning we're going to show you the, how we operate the Children's Air Ambulance flight stretcher. We're also going to look at the equipment that's used on the bridge. Okay, so the baby pod set up for a 1.8 to 6 kilo child and inside the baby pod is all the bits that you might need. So there's the trans warmer to keep the baby warm. You have the baby pack tubing and the diaphragm that goes with it. And then you have the green pouch and it's square so that any of the leads from the baby pod can be put in there to be stored safely. On the air stretcher, you have the bridge and then on top of the bridge is the MP5 monitor and you can turn it around to face in flight by lifting the metal clamp up and twisting it slightly. There's little holes on the plate and the clamp will lock in and turn it into you know, the right position. If you want to remove the monitor you have to pull down the two red clamps and then move the monitor towards you and lift it up. On the base of the monitor is four little feet and they fit into the round circles that's on the plate. You must make sure that the monitor's pushed far enough back so that the red clamps can come up and support the monitor. Under the bridge you can also find a red pouch that has all the leads for the MP5 and the disposables and an extension set. So the flight stretcher is always set up with the baby pack ventilator. And as with the monitor, you can actually turn the ventilator around until it locks in place. Just have to get them to line up. There we go. And then the medical lead can actually see it better. If you want to change it from the baby pack to the venti pack, you have to turn the red clasp to the back and then lift the ventilator up. On the back of the ventilator, there are two little screws and they lock in to the two screws here. So I'll just demonstrate how to put it back in. To make sure it's flight worthy, the red clamp must be on. These two brackets are just for the Hamilton ventilator. The suction unit on the air stretcher is a small ladle one. It's portable and you set it up by having the pack that Steph's showing. There's a very small tubing. The tubing that's in there with the blue is very short and doesn't actually reach through the baby. Um, so we always change it and put our own suction tubing in. The actual canister comes like that and just is lifted off and put back in. Um, and then at the side there is a little elbow and the elbow is really important. If you throw the elbow then you can't actually suction the patient. And Steph's just going to demonstrate where the elbow goes. To make sure the suction unit is secured for flight, the black strap is attached. And to turn it on there's a green button on the top. There's another suction unit identical to that at the head of the stretcher or in the helicopter. So on the flight stretcher we have a bracket to secure the pumps. These are the brawn pumps, the same ones that we use in the ambulance. At the moment it's in the locked position because the red clasp is up. To remove them, lower it down, lift them up and you can see that there's four feet on the back. They lock into the four holes here. So to remove the pump, you lift up the, lift, the red lever and they take them out. The actual um, pump locks into the bottom, the base of the bracket, rather than the top as it does in the ambulance. So they just slot in, click in place, lift it up, can take it out. Very easy to get back in and out. So to remove the bracket, you have to take out the four pins. To remove them, you squeeze the middle bit in 
and these two little prongs at the side then retract in. There's one, two, three and four. Just by pushing in the pin they'll be released. And then this bracket needs to be just gently taken off. We're now going to demonstrate how to remove the bridge. So Steph will take the monitor off as I remove the ventilator. They are a little bit tricky because the hole is very tight. On the bottom of the, the stretcher, we've got three different packs. One has got the flight straps for the larger child and the flight harness. So this is essential if any child over six kilos is flying. We've then got some ear defenders. It's pink and blue. And these are for children that are over 18 months to adults. And then we have two pairs of the white ones, the embuds. They go like that out either side with a headband around them. And they're for babies up to 18 months. And then this is the ACR pack. So if you've got a child that's between six kilos and 45, then you'll need to put the ambulance restraint harness on them before you can put the flight stretcher harness on. So we're now going to demonstrate how to remove the baby pod and where to put the leads. So you need to unclip the two straps on either side. And then you need to unfasten the metal curved clip from underneath the stretcher. And then on the second stack, Step, it's quite tricky you have to kneel down and if you push the button in and move it to the side then you can take it out all the straps for the baby pod are placed into this little green pouch And we leave the pouch in the baby pod and then we need to move, remove the base plate. So if you again push in the two pins and release them and then you have to release the strap from the baby plate and if we move the baby pod forward a little bit the base plate will come out. move that pouch and then it doesn't damage the foam. Now we're going to demonstrate how to actually attach the flight um, safety harness. This has to be used on all patients that are over six kilos right up to whatever size they are. Um, if they're up to 45 kilos, then they'll need their ACR harness. Otherwise, they just need the flight straps. In the green rectangular pouch, there are three main straps. One is a shoulder strap that has got um, a clip attached to it. And then there's a body strap three and a body strap four. Body strap four has got a rotating black buckle. And the other two straps get attached to it. So to place the shoulder straps, you need to lift up the red handle at the head of the stretcher. It's on the right hand side as you look down the stretcher. And underneath it, there is a little button that you need to press in the blue bit and pull out the button. And then you can feed the strap or the shoulder strap clip through it. Now release the lever and let the head of the stretcher go down. 
Now you need to put the two body straps. So there's one either side. They need to be attached into the section that says harness stroke baby pod. They're quite fiddly to get in and you need to push the inner bit in as you pull the two outside edges and it's like a spring clasp so it'll slide it in. Fit the button through the middle bit or through the, the whole bit and then slide it into the centre. So now you've got the two shoulder straps attached and you've got the two body straps. If you've got a very large patient, you might want to add a chest strap, a thigh strap or leg straps. And they will be attached exactly the same as body three and four, but just lower down or higher up. Maybe across here where the chest is. Now we're going to demonstrate how to dismantle the flight harness. So first of all, undo the rotating um, buckle and all straps are free. And then start by removing strap three and strap four. And then at the head of the bed, lift the stretcher lever up and remove the pin and the clasp. It's really important you always replace the pins or otherwise they might get caught when you're rolling the stretcher off the, the clip deck. And then replace all of the straps into the rectangular pouch. So now we're going to demonstrate how to set up the air stretcher with the ACRs for a child that's under 45 kilos and the flight stretcher harness. Steph's going to demonstrate how to put it together. So to attach the flight harness and the ACRs, first of all you need to choose which ACR you want. So this patient is 30 kilos and we're going to use a green ACR. You then need the four ACR straps that are kept in the pack and then you can put the pack to a side. Each ACR needs to be attached either side of the trolley and there's a loop on the blue strap and then the black buckle goes through it. When you're attaching them you need to make sure that they go either side of the thick lumpy metal. And again, the strap needs to be the other side of the thick, lumpy metal. And that prevents them merging into the middle and squashing the child. Next, unravel the ACR. And you want to find which is the head end and which is the bottom end. So if you think that the nappy is at the bottom end, where it can be secured. And then on the underside of the ACR, you can see that there's a blue clip. And that attaches to the buckle. And now it's ready to put the child in. Steph is now going to demonstrate how to attach the flight harness. This has got to be on all patients that are not in the baby pod. And it's to ensure that they're going to be um, safe when they're actually in the helicopter. So there's three important straps. There's the shoulder strap that Steph's got in her hand now, and it has a little metal clip at the top, and that gets locked into place at the head of the stretcher. Then you have a body strap two and a, bo a body strap three and a body strap four. And body strap four has a, a rotating buckle on it. 
is always permanently attached to number four strap and then you can attach number three and then the top two shoulder straps getting attached. Okay. So now Steph's going to lift the head of the stretcher up so she can attach the metal clip into the head of the stretcher. So the flight harness is now set up and ready to accept a patient. So when you get down to the District General Hospital um, and then you want to put the patient onto the stretcher, what you would first need to do is unhook the rotary buckle and then unstrap the ACR. and then lie the patient. Onto the straps. And for this purpose, we're just going to tuck everything under so that you can see how the straps are attached. So to make sure that the chest is um, open and gives the best ventilation, that's it. So now to secure the um, lower end, you need to pull the green strap over that's nice and soft over the baby and then feed up the strap from the middle. And then the straps are very sticky and stick together. So I put one across and then fold down the middle bit yeah, and that one again, and that's lovely. And then you need to actually attach the flight straps. So buckles three and four get attached onto the rotary buckle. And then the shoulder straps are attached. And you then need to pull them tight. It does look like the child's um, quite a long way down, but once you pull the straps tighter, it feels better. So I tell you what, let's undo these first. And this is meant to go underneath in there. I think this is meant to be higher because that's meant to be underneath. And then they get pulled down tighter. So now we're going to demonstrate how to put the baby pod back onto the air stretcher. So first of all you need to attach the base plate. Remove the two pins and slide it down so it covers each of the holes. Line the back one up first because it's always better and easier to connect if the back pin goes in first. So to attach the baby pod you need four straps. Two of them have got the metal curve on them and they've got opposite male and female connectors. And then the other two have got the spring clasp and again opposite male and female connectors. It's really important once you put the baby pod on that you identify which of the male one goes with the female or else you'll end up having to do them twice. So now you want to attach the curved metal plate onto the top of the stretcher here but it's important you identify which end. So that's obviously the wrong end, and that's the correct end. So I'll put that strap up there. And to put it on, you curve it underneath, thread it through, and attach it to the male connector, and then pull it tight. To do the opposite side, Make sure you've got the right connector. And then you need to go underneath and attach it where it says baby pod and harness. It's locked in. And then just pull the strap tight. And that's the baby pod set up ready for use. 
Okay, this is a nitric tray and you can see it's got the blender, the monitor and a cylinder of nitric at the bottom. It's checked every day by the PICU technicians so that they know that it's um, got enough gas in and that it all works. To assemble it onto the flight stretcher, you need to remove the foot end of the stretcher mattress and there's these little clips that go on. So make sure you leave that in squirrel room so it's safe. And then there's some big round holes and on the foot of the actual tray, nitric tray, there's some like red mushroom feet. You need to line them up and slot them in and then it'll sit in place nicely. So if you put the tray on the stretcher and slide it up, that's it. And you have to make sure that all three, just a minute, it's just got the lead caught underneath here, that's it. And up here. And then if you slide it up, and then to lock it in place, you put down the red lever and then it's completely secured. So to unlock the nitric, you need to lift the red lever up, slide it to the back, and then lift it up. So this is the base of the stretcher, and when you want to roll the stretcher off, you need to push in the two red bars, and you can see how this lever then comes down, and the stretcher can roll off. It's been kept in place at the moment by one of the blue ACR straps that's attached to the head of the stretcher to ensure that it won't roll off with the patient on. What you need is someone at the top end now to unclamp it so that we can roll it off and put it into the helicopter. So to undo the clip, okay. just disconnect it there. But this should always stay attached whilst the stretcher's on. Yeah. So this is the clip deck and this is what's needed um, on the base of the stretcher so that we can actually roll the stretcher on and off. To dismantle it so you can put it into the helicopter, you need to undo these straps. And there's four on this side, four on this side, and two at either end. Now we're going to remove the pins that are securing it in place. And we want to fold it in half. This is where the air stretcher is kept, it's in squirrel room. It's all set up with the baby pod. Everything's attached for a child that's um, under six kilos. We've also got a new flight folder and the flight folder has all the information about the different DGH hospitals and it's been updated with all the assembly instructions for um, changing the baby pod into an ordinary flight harness or the ACRs.